Have you ever wondered what makes you who you are? What determines how your self-image develops? Do you ever find yourself repeating unintended behaviors or situations? Leading Edge research reveals that core thoughts and beliefs about yourself, your relationships, and your world have a surprising origin. They began in the womb. Science is unraveling some of the mysteries of life's beginnings, revealing that humans are conscious beings at the earliest stages of life. Although you were not aware then, in the same way you are now, you were able to perceive and remember vital information. It is now known that prenatal and birth experiences profoundly inform later life experiences. We are learning from those on the scientific frontier, as well as the wisdom of the ancients, that in many ways, Life imitates birth. Your subconscious was programmed before birth up through six years of age without you even being involved. You learned tapes about how to live. It's nature's head start program. What's going on in the world? Fetus can't see it. So what does the fetus do? Rely on what the mother experiences. Parents collectively influence the mother's environment. You are actually acting as genetic engineers for your own developing child. You are selecting genes in your germ cells and then selecting genes in the fetus by the way you perceive life. In the context of this documentary, the term birth broadly refers to the primal period of life, from preconception through the first year. This overlooked stage of life provides valuable insight for parents and prospective parents, mental health and childbirth professionals, and those who wish to become more empowered creators of their own lives. The astonishing physical developments of the primal period have become the main focus in modern society. However, there was a time when pregnancy and childbirth were considered deeply spiritual events that celebrated the miraculous transformation of a soul into a body, of men and women into parents. Women were revered as the vessels of new life, the attendants of birth, and guardians of its ways. When childbirth moved into the medical domain, the lineage of feminine mysteries and power was interrupted. The current state of our children, and the world, seem to be calling for women to mend this rift, to reconnect with the power of birth and channel it as a healing force for the planet. In the extraordinary mother-baby connection of the primal period, both in and out of the womb, lies boundless possibility for maximizing individual potential as well as launching widespread social change. In the simplest terms, mothers who feel good produce love hormones. Love hormones equip women for ecstasy during childbirth and wire babies for connectedness, empathy, and love. An excess of stress hormones interferes with nature's purposeful design. For women, this means pleasure is eclipsed by pain. For babies, it can result in a brain oriented towards isolation, anxiety, even aggression and violence. So if what we desire for our children and our society 
is peace and connection, creativity and ingenuity, love and compassion. Our number one priority should be supporting mothers in being with their babies and helping them feel good. Life Imitates Birth, The Science and Spirit of Being Born is a nine-part series detailing how the primal period holds the key to personal and societal transformation. A host of pioneering experts have committed to the project, and we have a funding-dependent proposal with Twin Cities Public Television to produce and air the series. On television, and through 24-7 online access. But we need your help to get the cameras rolling and start changing lives with this vital information. Thank you for taking the time to learn about this project and for any support you're able to provide. Together, we can help each other gain a deeper self-understanding, cultivate connection and healing in our families, and create a more compassionate, peaceful world. It all starts with our beginnings.